1969, Father Michael Scanlon came back. He had been Father Theophane Scanlon, and then that summer he went back to his baptismal name, and he also got baptized in the Spirit, came back. It was actually parents' weekend, and we couldn't believe that this guy was like this. And we weren't used to seeing this. Son. You know, this is weird. And he couldn't take that off for the, his whole time here for the weekend. And he brought two seminarians along who also had been baptized in the Spirit. And we started to hear some rumors. Fortunately for me, as an agnostic at the time, I was dating a girl who used to have us come to the midnight mass that was started when the September semester opened. And I was coming because I was in love, period. Okay, but not with Jesus. Over the course of my college career, I was luckily converted, entered the seminary, had Father Mike as the rector, came back in 1977 to have him as the president. But along the way, in 75, a year before my ordination, he started a priest conference. I don't know if anybody here is tent worthy of those great days. I remember 1,200 priests, and it was like, this is what you lived for, to come for every year to be refreshed restored, and reminded that you're sane. <laughs> I once, the chaplain of the, the chapel, when it opened, I, I was telling him right before ordination, you know, when I'm with you, or on a retreat, it's fine, but when I go back to the real world, he said to me, you don't understand. Brothers, this is our real world. We're in the kingdom of God. Can I hear you say that? We're in the kingdom of God. I'm a king's son. I'm a king's son. I'm royal. I'm royal. I have what it takes to change the world. I have what it takes to change the world. The whole world is waiting for the revelation of the king's kids. Amen? Amen. Don't go home to real world. Go home and make the kingdom of God more your home. Amen?